lovely Gemma with us today. Hi there, Gemma. Hi, nice to meet you. Right, I'd li- this is, we're so excited about this today. And I just, I love being creative. Mm. So I'm, I'm so excited about having you on the show today. But tell me a little bit about yourself. What's your background? <clears throat> well, I'm a blogger. Uh, and I do it for fun. I love it. I'm very passionate about refashioning. Oh, fantastic. That's the way I put it anyway. Um, but basically, because I feel that I wasn't very good at school, and when I say I, was, I wasn't very good, I mean I was really bad, really oh. bad. Um, I get chucked out of HE because I'd be breaking the needles. And I just, I just thought to myself, I'm never going to get this. Mm-hmm. Um, that's why I actually feel that I can talk about it now, because if I can do it, Anybody can do it. So you're Um, not trained or into design, styling, fashion? Well, I think... Do you know what? If I said I wasn't into fashion, that would be Mm -hmm. a lie, because I think we all are, and innately. In other words, when you're little, when you're five years old, you still know you want to wear the pink one and not the purple one. You've still got an idea of what you're drawn to, and you still know who your style icons are. And that's very personal to you, which is, again, something that I love about customising, because... What I do a lot of the time, and I'm not on my own in this, I make mood boards. So I might go into a couple of magazines, I'll rip things out. It doesn't matter what they are. I don't overthink it. I just think, am I drawn to that or not? And if I am, I rip it out. It could be the colour combination. At the moment, it's colour blocking is Mm -hmm. in. Well, you know, you're wearing it. Exactly. Um, Gorgeous. You you know. (laughs) Naturally. um, (laughs) So I love pinks, hot pinks and oranges. I love love the colour that you're wearing today. I mean, these really vibrant colours that are in. But it's not because it's in fashion. It's because... I'm always into that. Yeah. That's just what I'm drawn to. And I think when people say, oh, I'm really not fashionable, I'm really not stylish, I think it's unfortunate that we give ourselves those labels because we yeah. do it quite early I on in life. I think we all have some kind of fashion yeah. sense. Yeah, we do. Of course we do. I think so. I think innately we do. And so when I talk about it, I'm very um, quick to say, look, I'm not qualified. So, um, you know, don't take me shopping <laughs> which, with you. Which means anyone can have a which go at being creative. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's what I love about it. And I also... You know, when I started blogging, really, I came from a craft point of view. And not that I don't love that anymore. I still love it. Um, But there's a bit of a divide in terms of blogging. When you're a crafter, you're thought of as the person that makes drink charms and bibs and um, little things for the kids. And when you're into fashion... um, It's not that you're barren and you don't like kids, but certainly there's a bit of a a funny divide between the two. You're thought of differently, whereas Mm -hmm. I try and... I don't specify because I do love both and I don't want to give up either. And although I came to styling or refashioning late on, I don't think it's ever too late to do that. And I think we all do it, again, instinctively, whether it's scarves, belts when you don't normally wear a belt, putting things together, what you've done with that shirt and that dress. Mm. You know, nobody thought when they put that dress together, they might not have thought they'd put a shirt underneath. So that's you, Mm. essentially, that's you making a fashion statement that wasn't immediately there. So um, I am very careful to say that anyone can do this. Uh, You know, it's it's something I'm very passionate about putting forward, really, because... um, it's an aesthetic thing. Mm. It's something that isn't, it isn't about vanity. It's about what makes you feel comfortable. And that's it. And, that's you, it. and also, you can save a lot of money as well. I mean, I mean me with yeah. this dress, I mean, I've worn this dress before, but I'm thinking to myself, right, how can I wear this dress to look completely different from how it looked the last yes. time I wore it? Yeah, we're, nobody wants to look the same as somebody else either at exactly. a party. And that's another thing as well, isn't it? We all it? want to look like a different kind of woman, she says. <laughs> Sounded a bit cheesy, right. but we do. We want to be different. Exactly. Because we are different. We're and the tools different. and everything. I, I, I can see you've got all different yeah. feathers even. I know. And that. So, um, are they easy to access? Yeah. yeah, don't be afraid of the haberdashery. Yeah. Um, I used to be afraid of a haberdashers because you go in and it's so overwhelming, there's so much fabric, so much different so much stuff. stuff. <laughs> and they stare at you like this, what are you doing in here? What do you want? And you think sometimes I don't, I don't know what I want, I just want to look and yeah, kind of see what comes to me. see what you're drawn to, really. Yeah. And sometimes it's great to go with someone who knows what they're doing. Mm. That's undeniable. But, I mean, for example, when I found this feather, I thought, I'd have got no idea what I'm going to do this. No idea. I'm just drawn to it for some reason. I love it. I think it's... I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm not into festivals, so mm. I won't be wearing it this way around at all. You won't be wearing it on your head today. No, I won't be doing it. I okay. won't be doing it anytime soon. But I like it. Something about it, I feel at some point it's going to come in useful. Lovely. And I've kind of been, maybe I'm a hoarder. You know, maybe this is my time to have counselling. But anyway, I've been kind of gr- grabbing things over the years and just right. thinking, I'm sure at some point, and this is my point. This I is love the it. time. Now, 
Let's see some yeah. of your creative work. Well, I brought Dolly in. Right. Dolly's my handy assistant. Okay. Doesn't say very much, but she's really useful. Um, I put her in a little bustier, um, which actually I bought quite recently on a sale rack. It was three pounds. Wow. I mean, you know, and underneath there's a slip. Now I call it a night slip, but some people would actually wear it. It's from H and M. It's like seven pounds. Mm -hmm. Again, quite cheap because it was on sale. And I bought okay. them specifically because they were so plain, and because we all have something that's quite plain. Yes, and that's true. For we the have, always have a black dress. Yeah. Yes. So for the purposes of this, I thought I'll start with black because I don't want to scare anyone into thinking that they're, it's beyond them. You know, it is really easy to do. Now, what I'm going to use first is Velcro. You might know it as Velcro, but actually that's the trade name. It's called hook and loop tape. Oh. And that's because obviously one side is hook and one side is loop and they stick together. But Velcro is to hook and loop what Hoover is to vacuum. It's just, yeah. okay. it's just the brand name. So if you go anywhere and you buy it, that's what you're looking for. Okay. Now, this I got from Tesco. So you can actually buy it anywhere. It's, it is all around you. When you Tesco, start thinking, oh, well. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, you know, that is pre-packaged. You will yeah. pay a premium because obviously if it is pre-packaged, it's, you know, they know you're desperate. You're in Tesco. You know, you didn't go in for Velcro, <laughs> did you? But you might be picking it up. Whereas if you go to a haberdasher's, you'll get it much cheaper. Okay. And that's when it comes on the roll by the meter. So this is like £1.50 a metre. Oh. You choose it in either white or black, but ostensibly it's the same okay, thing, fine. right? So it might be that it's £1.50 a metre for just the hook side, and then, you know, the same for the looped side, but essentially you buy both. Right. And, and it's the same thing. That's reasonably cheap, really, It's very isn't cheap. It? A very, well, if you consider, you could go maybe nearly all the way around here with one right. metre. So okay. that's £1.50. Anyway, Fabulous. moving on then. If you were, and I'm going to say if because I don't need to, but it, let's say you ran a loop of Velcro across here, one side of it, and again, there's a difference. You can either buy so-and-so or stick and stick, or so-and-stick. In other words, the so-and-so, you sew both sides. Mm -hmm. The stick and sick, it is what it sounds like. It's just paper backing and you rip it off. Right. Or sew and sick, so one side sews on and one side sticks on. And really, to be honest, there isn't much difference in it. Um, you would only sew it on if, for example, you know you can wash the garment mm -hmm. afterwards with whatever you're sticking on. Okay. You wouldn't want to wash this. You know, you're, exactly. you look so like a pigeon that's been in an accident. Remove it and yes. next week put something different. Exactly. On. And that's what I love that's about it. You can idea. check. Yes. So, for example. Wow. Now, that I, looks you know, completely different. Well, when I do that, I don't feel like I've Very done anything creative. exciting because I haven't done that. But essentially, it's just sticking something on. Yeah. And if you're walking down the street, no one will say, look at the thing she's stuck on her front. I mean, they won't no, look at you and think that. Right. They'll think, where did she buy that? Buy that dress. If you can imagine this with like a little brown, a tan mm. leather suede skirt, that would bring the colour yeah. in then. And it looks in it looks trendy yes. it doesn't matter what year it is yes. or you know i mean that's the sort of thing where i just look at it and i think god I, actually that looks quite trendy how did i how did i manage that mm. me you know when i don't know anything about fashion but anyway that's the long feather that's, that's um, really the other thing that you can do is just go into a haberdasher's and ask them if they have any applique bits because they have like bags full of stuff I don't really know what they plan to do with it or what other people do with it, but what so I do... just throw it away, really, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> yeah, Being throw it away. What am I going to yeah. do with this? Nothing. I mean, this, for example, I'm going to use a pin on this side just so that you can see what it looks like. This, I would probably put Wonderweb on one side, which, in other words, means you can iron it on. Oh, now, I didn't sew this. Creative. I didn't weave it. It's, you know, it looks, I think it looks beautiful. It does, it does look beautiful. Now, at the moment, it's just hanging, as you can see. If you were to put Bondweb underneath, and again, that's um, a manufacturer's name, but if you were to, this again is from Tesco's. It's the Tesco's right. version. And the that's reason bond, why. It's Bondweb. Bondweb. And the reason why they sell it is for hems of trousers. So, in other words, if it's falling down and you don't want to sew it, you don't feel comfortable sewing, yeah. you stick that on, you iron it. I mean, yeah. it is as simple as that. But you can use it for other things and applique work, or in other words, things that you stick on after the fact onto your garments can be used, this can be used oh. for that. So in other words, if you cut this carefully, put it onto the back of this and just iron, you put a cloth over it. and iron, and then it would actually stick and move with the bodice of the dress. Yeah. And that to me is quite, I mean, you're not going to find anyone else creative. wearing that, obviously, because firstly, you've bought whatever it is underneath and it fits you, um, which again, I'm, I'm kind of very passionate about keeping clothes that mean something to you. Mm. You know, when you go to a party, when you have these experiences, when you go to a wedding, you generally, you have a good time and you love the thoughts that that garment 
carries for you. Yeah, yes. There's an emotional attachment. Indeed. And the problem I think that we face nowadays is the fact that things like Facebook, for example, much as they're wonderful and you can look back at photographs, unfortunately, you can see the same dress yeah, at five same... different weddings. Mm. And then you're like, oh, no, I've got nothing else to wear. Now what? Well, now what? Now we can do now something what? different. Yeah. And who can say anything? They probably wouldn't even know it's the same dress. No, well, I wouldn't. <laughs> you wouldn't look for that, would you? You wouldn't. You, you wouldn't. Unless you're a strange sort of person, you wouldn't be thinking, well, I can see what she's done there. I mean, I've yeah, got an eye because I'm looking for yes. it. But most people would be like, well, that's amazing. Where did she get that from? Exactly. And that's when I know I've won. When I'm standing there and somebody says to me, where did you buy that? And I, and I say, I made it. I still get so excited because I'm not. I don't see myself as a seamstress. Oh, you I can know. see you holding a shoe there. So even shoes? Even shoes. Wow. Mm. Now what shoes. What can you do with this shoe? Because well, I've got some shoes like this. So, I'm glad you asked. Velcro, again, instead of putting it on your clothing, you can put it on your handbags or your shoes or any of your accessories. And what I've done, I've already put the Velcro, one side of the Velcro, on the other shoe. So it's already around the edge, I did that before. And I've put the other side of the Velcro around this particular feather, which I just think is so cute. Now, granted, it's not for everyone. It is a bit dramatic. Um, but if you're amazing. wearing jeans or, you know, uh, again, a denim skirt or something. Look at that. Sorry, I've got to chip on that. Absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. Fabulous. That fabulous. That looks like a top designer that shoe right fantastic. there. fantastic. Absolutely stunning. Well, Gemma, <laughs> I must say. I get we, goosebumps. We I get so excited about so it. so much from you today. Thank you very yeah. much for coming.